Caddis Maximus here. Don't do a lot of videos about Fuller tools. They always seem to be relatively decent to me. Kind of like, you know, the O'Reilly's Auto Parts Duralast or maybe the Evercraft. They weren't the very best, but they certainly seem to be worth their money. Couldn't pass this up because this is a 24 inch steel pipe wrench. Of course, Fuller tools are all made in Japan, so that's another reason I got them. I do like the steel pipe wrenches. They are heavy. This thing's probably 10 pounds. Quite a bit of capacity. It's rated up to three inches of jaw capacity. Using the modern two pieces design instead of the old Stilson where they have the rocking carriage. Seems to adjust just fine. Once again, plenty of capacity. Forged upper jaw. My understanding, and you can really see there's a, just a thin line here is that I don't believe that this is a forged handle. I believe that all pipe wrenches have cast handles. Maybe some are forged, but it's real obvious, like the thin little line that you have here indicating the metal being put in after the dies were closed, and something that's forged, where you have this really thick area flashing, which is the metals put in, and then the two dies are smashed on top of it, ca causing a, this flashing to get squished out between the dies. This one's certainly been hammered on a little bit here, as we can see, and certainly seems to have taken the beating. You can tell how you use the pipe wrench is just by seeing how rounded the jaws are. So I noticed that the jaws were in good condition here, and so decided to go for it. A lot of people do use and like aluminum handled pipe wrenches. I actually have a 24 inch brass craft, the T392, and it's actually a pretty decent aluminum handle uh, pipe wrench. But I've seen a lot of used pipe wrenches at like pawn shops and stuff, and inevitably the bent ones are the aluminum ones. They're just not quite as strong as steel, and nobody would ever think that aluminum would be stronger than steel. It's just that in many situations with pipe wrenches, what they do with the aluminum, flip it over this way, as we can see here, is they just make the aluminum extra thick. It is some alloy. I don't know if it's six, what series it is, if it's 2024, 6061. But they just make the aluminum a little bit thicker and you end up saving about 30% of the weight. Of course, the, the working parts are all steel. And for most situations, it's absolutely fine. It's just when you have a pipe wrench where you really need a bigger one, but you have the jaw capacity of the smaller one, and you're in a situation where you either have to jump up and down on the handle or you're using a cheater pipe, that's where the aluminum will bend, and many times the steel will just take it and uh, keep on going. Anyway... That was my little video about this Fuller. I don't even know if it has a part number on this. Surprisingly enough, we don't have a part number. We have it, it says forged right there for the upper jaw. A measurement inches 24, 24. But surprisingly enough, this tool has no part number. Whenever you got one of these or were ordering it back in the day when Fuller was available, you just said, I want Fuller <laughs> super quality 24 inch pipe wrench. And I didn't have a steel one, so I think this is a nice addition to the collection. And something I like to do about with every pipe wrench video now, I do have a genuine Stilson. This is an old 36. This has the rocking carriage. The reason this isn't used, this design isn't used anymore, is it's more expensive, more complicated, and actually not quite as strong as having a two-piece design. But we can compare how big the head of a 36 inch is. And for giggles, because I like doing this. Oh, geez. Here's an 88-inch capacity. It's known as a 60-inch class, although the 60-inch class wrenches don't have 60-inch handles. Even the rigid 8-inch capacity pipe wrench does not have a 5-foot handle on it because they're too heavy. This thing already weighs 40 pounds. To give you an idea, some of these wrenches, just the upper jaw on this 8-inch capacity wrench will cover the whole head of a 24 inch wrench. Anyway, pipe wrenches are among some of the largest hand tools that uh, you can get. 
Really appreciate everybody who's been watching and supporting the channel. Caddis Maximus out.